Hey guys and welcome to the first episode of my daughter left the nest and returned as an S-ranked adventurer. Now you can definitely tell it's a light novel based off that long ass title but anyways now I am quite looking forward to another kind of fantasy setting anime along with the fact that this does look like it's going to have some family relations based off the title and I don't feel like we get that as much within the fantasy setting except for this season it's giving us this along with Fedden so yeah I'm really looking forward to seeing what the series will be all about so without further ado let's get started Episode one. Oh. oh, what is this? Is it his dreams? His traumas? Ooh, I like the art style they started. Wow, and here with an actual leg missing. I just thought with the fantasy setting, you know, healing magic, but no. I like that touch. Is he going to find like a baby in the woods? Yeah. I'm abandoned this. Adorable little baby. Oh, look at them rosy cheeks. <laughs> yep, I guess she's your daughter now. <laughs> I feel like she's going to have quite this backstory then, considering that it looks. It wasn't more so like abandoned, but. Angeline. This is going to be a feisty one. <gasps> How could you do that to your daughter? <laughs> I really hope this stays wholesome. I, 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 don't, I don't need more tears. And I'm really loving the simple, like, rustic art style as well. I think it works with the fantasy setting. Wait, what do you mean? You're leaving already? She's, like, only 12, is she not? You raised her well. Like a new base of title, she has to leave the nest, but not at 12. There's a dragon in the city. Let's go, Angie. Oh, nice shot. Right in the eye. I can't believe they took down a dragon just like that. Alrighty ho. Oh, it's just a wyvern, of course. Valkyrie. What a cool title. In five years. Oh, I'm glad she's still the bubbly munchkin that she was. Bell. Doing everything. Yeah, let him read his um, daughter. I mean, let her from his daughter. Let him read his daughter. <laughs> yeah, that's how impressive. Look at all the letters they've been exchanging. Whoa, they really work, you guys. Like, it's conditioned for her break. Really? Even as an asterisk? Oh, I'm glad they cut this lovely relationship between them two. 
Oh, that's the guild master. Mm -hmm. You can't. Oh, no, you can't. can't. Isn't there anyone else? I guess we can deal with this quickly, right? And then still head off? No problem? Oh my Jesus. What the freaking baloney is that? Oh, you are all doomed. She is not just going to roast you, she is going to, like, disintegrate you. Never ever stop a person that's about to go on break to me. The dad. Not quite. Oh, he's been waiting at the... No! He's been waiting at the doorstep. Don't tell me this is how, like, 20 years fucking passed. Stop it, you ants. God damn it, no one likes you. Oh, that is nasty. Yeah, I think anyone would be pissed at their vacation club. Mm. Yeah, before you stopped her, guild master. <laughs> Did you see a stack of quests that she's completed? Oh, she can finally go. Oh, thank God. I thought this was how, like, the whole season goes by. Well, the red over. Kind of, but a lot more softer. <laughs> no, no, just ignore it. It's not your fucking problem. Okay, now it just became our fucking problem. Clear the path, if you all want to live. No, no, that was the wrong reply. Yep. I'll have less time with my dad now. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fair enough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, good talk, bye. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, now, now it just became a... No, no, it is not your problem, Missy. No, no, don't cry. No, no. She's got her own father to see. I'm sorry, but I'm going to be the mean one in this series. Everyone leave. <laughs> oh my gosh, she is so sweet. Oh, she's just so beyond sweet. Yep, okay, so this is how the whole season is going to go. With An An Angelina never getting a break. Mm. And the dad just way too on the letters. Can't you just go to where she is? I guess he does play a big role in this village. Aww. He's just a big grizzly bear. Big fluffy grizzly bear. Yeah, I don't know how taking a bunch of noisy, uncontrollable kids into the woods is a good idea. But luckily we do have Belle, so we should be alright. Right? Feels like it was more than just a child's quick wit. No, it looks like you clearly went through something. Exactly. You got to meet Angie. Oh, oh, there we go. We jinxed it. We jinxed it. I jinxed it. That's what I mean. Oh, no, Belle. That was epic, but adorable. <laughs> like, you're, you're good. You're good. You're good. Oh. 
Okay, this isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. Oh, oh, that was that was Angie. <laughs> I thought that was like the wood monk style, like spore master that was like controlling the forest. But no, it was Angie, not a monster. Ooh, you know what's up, Midi? Was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course we can. That looks so good. What? They can't just deny your break and then not give you another one. Say. So. You can do it, Angie. Mm -hmm. Come on, you're an s rank adventurer. A wyvern doesn't stop you. Nothing should really stop you. The orphanage? Oh. No, but you were well protected. I don't I think it's just an abandonment. Looks like you've made great companions. Yes, it looks like she's the tough cookie. And lightning magic. <laughs> okay. It's still growing, Edgy, it's still growing. I love the attention detail to the letter. You can see like things scribbled out, things go a little wonky because it is so impossible to write in a straight line on a plain piece of paper. You will eventually need to start won wonking off. That was it to the episode. They're never, they're just never going. Oh my God. How many, how many episodes? No, it's just the entire season. How long? Does someone tell me? How long is it going to take? How many volumes in the light novel does it take for them to freaking finally meet up? Anyways, I'm not gonna lie, I never knew I would become so invested into a series where I just want them to freaking have like Angie to get her vacation so she can go see her dad. Like that is obviously the hook point of episode one and I am hooked. Along with that, I do feel like they have sprinkled a little couple aspects of a mystery in regards to obviously the dad at Belle. And this title is like the Red Ogre, but it does look like he still has some traumas from his adventuring day that made him want to um, quit. And also I am going to say it, a fantasy anime that actually has a character with a disability and, and the fact that they actually like have moments where they do address that disability. Like, you know, when Belle obviously is a very skilled adventurer and was able to deal with the wood, uh, evil wood spirit thing in one swoop, but then because of the footing, he did indeed a slip. So I do feel like there's a story to Belle's part as well as Andrew concerning that you know I keep saying it wasn't just an abandonment it did look like she had wards like protecting her and she was well taken care of it did look like maybe there was maybe they had to like give up Angie and like Angie finding that past I do wonder if like the series will explore that along with the fact that her friends as well Midi and Anissa both from the orphanage and didn't like grow up with a, a dad just a lot of aspects of family woven into this story that I do hope they are able to like expand and explore so yeah with that if you guys enjoyed the series it would definitely mean a lot if you gave this video a like as that is the best way of letting me know that you guys didn't but yeah I guess with that make sure you guys say awesome and I'll definitely catch you guys soon